Extreme close up. Extreme close up live. Munchkin Marmor Gold. Shazad. <laughs> Shazad Chowip. Ch- 2019. Silver. And then a gang load together for the bronze. Well done, everybody. How we doing out there? How we doing out there on a Monday? On Mental Health Awareness Month, May, Monday. Or one of them, anyway. I'm going to let this sit for a second longer, and then I'm going to dive into it. How's that sound? Oh, you got some flow supplements. Thank you, Sarah Elizabeth. Miss Sarah Elizabeth. I'm really grateful that you're trusting us uh, and checking out our product. It's really tasty. It's really good. It's really clean. And we're going to keep making it better. So, you know, we, always, we just want to make the best thing. So please give us your feedback. We'd love to hear it. Well, hello, Rosenberg, Texas. Where is Rosenberg, Texas? I need to learn the state that I live in a little bit better, I think. I cannot come to your prom. I'm so sorry, Amir. You want to meet me in Boston, but you don't know if you can go. Why? Are you banned from Massachusetts? What do I usually eat on my cheat day? All of the things? <laughs> like, multiple pizzas? No, that's not true. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't, I don't really have cheat days. I kind of have cheat meals here and there, but I try to eat as clean as I can most of the time. But I'm also kind of a creature habit. Like, I, I don't mind eating the same things all the time. I do love me some bread, though, like any kind of carbohydrate. Come on. I, you know, we, we know this. We all love carbohydrate. All right. I think uh, I'll come back to a few questions in a second, but um, I got about like eight minutes before I go jump into um, go meeting some friends for some dinner. But um, I, yeah, I just wanted to do another check-in. Like I stated in the beginning of this live stream, it's Mental Health Awareness Month, which is May the month that we're in right now for all my friends in Latin speaking countries Mayo I believe um, yeah Cinco de Mayo look at me look at me putting it all together um, but yeah so I, like I told you I mean, I'm just going to keep trying to do little check-ins uh, with you all just to just to check in with you, look you in the eye through technology and tell you that you are loved and tell you that you are worthy of that love. And, um, this life is a nutty, crazy, amazing, difficult thing, you know, and we all go through it and you don't escape the the difficulty and we shouldn't try to escape the difficulty. We should embrace that and, and uh, embrace the growth that we get when we are being challenged and when we're being hit. I, this morning, I mean, part of the reason I wanted to check in with you guys today is I um, had an amazing time uh, in Orlando at MegaCon, met so many incredible people. I mean, just really, really lovely weekend. Um, felt great. And then this morning woke up and just felt anxious, just felt stressed, felt overwhelmed, felt underwater, felt like... Uh, uh, those, those, those feelings of like failure. Am I doing enough? Uh, am I doing it correctly? Whatever it is I am doing, uh, <laughs> am I loved? I mean, all, all of those things, you know? Um, and I want to be able to share all that stuff with you guys, continue to share all that stuff with you guys in my journey, because I think it's, very, it's, it's quite literally maybe the, the best way we're going to get to a better world of, of mental health is if we can completely destigmatize it and talk about it. We have to talk about it, guys, because we're all going through it. I, I can't stress this enough. Every single person out there deals with some mental health issue. Uh, or many mental health issues uh, throughout their life or over the course of their life. Um, I'm super happy for those of you out there who have gotten such incredible programming and upbringing and uh, and even genetics that uh, have afforded you some kind of <laughs> um, buffer from dealing with some of that stuff. But, I mean, you know, stress is mental health. Anxiety is, uh, is uh, on in, in mental health. Fear, fear is mental illness. You know, the, these phobias and fears and things and these these responses that we have to things that we don't understand, that we freak out about, that are that feel too big for us. <clears throat> All that's connected to mental health. 
And it's very, 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 very important that we remember this, that we tell this to ourselves, that we tell this to our friends and our family and strangers. And um, so anyway, if you, you know, were like me, maybe you woke up this morning on Monday and you just felt the weight of the world on your shoulders and it's like you don't even want to get out of bed because you kind of, you feel like, well, if I just lay here long enough, then maybe all of those responsibilities will go away and I won't have to deal with them. But you do, you will, you know this. They don't go away. They're just waiting there. They're just waiting for you to get up and go attend to them. And the beautiful thing about it is that that's all we need to do. You just need to get up and take one step at a time. I've been reminded of this by many people in my life because I've struggled with this kind of stuff for a long time in my life. Um, you know, it's uh, uh, my friend Hillary got me this little silver <laughs> uh, shovel, spade, um, like keychain thing. Um, when I was going through some really gnarly stuff, she got it to, as a reminder of just like, you know, one, one, you know, uh, scoop at a time. Like you just, you got to get through life's shit one scoop at a time and you can get there. And, uh, there are people around, uh, that we can ask. Um, uh, I, I, I believe all of us, I'm, I'm sure there are some people out there that feel like there is nobody out there for them and maybe there is not. And, uh, but I believe that there are people that you might know, you might not know, that will absolutely be there for you. And there are uh, lots of resources online that you can find uh, with people that are very much looking forward to you calling them, emailing them, messaging them, finding them in person um, at a particular place uh, where they can be there for you, help you. Um, lots of, you know, community organizations, churches even. I mean, there's there's a lot of people out there that really genuinely care about people and want to help people. So if you feel, truly actually feel like there's no one in your life, uh, go, go, go try, try a church first maybe. Or, or somewhere, you know, or temple or whatever it is, wherever you feel like there's going to be a group of people that, that, um, are, that value that you are alive and that you are there and that you are looking for help. Um, and for the rest of us, uh, go to those people when you are getting rocked, go to those people, talk to those people. Oh, look at me sweating my car. Guys, it is humid and hot in Austin, Texas right now. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Um, anyway, back to the matter at hand. So, uh, yeah, don't not talk about what you're struggling with. Don't not talk. Talk about what is going on in here. Don't sit in silence don't don't and don't don't be afraid to do it because i think that was, obviously that's the biggest reason why we don't talk about what we're struggling with it's because we're afraid that people are going to think less of us or ill of us or that we're you know <laughs> uh, broken in some way the truth is we all are <laughs> like everybody's broken guys everybody and there's not one person on this planet uh, that is a complete person that's not that's that's not lacking or deficient or confused or wrong entirely on at least some thing or things in their life. Um, so we're all in this together. We're all struggling through it together. We're all going to win it together. We can win it together. It's going to take self-love and love of our neighbor. That's what it's going to take, which is actually, by the way, a pretty beautiful, simple solution, if you ask me. I really do believe that if we can figure out a way, if we can get there, if we can get everybody to get healing in their heads and healing in their hearts, then all the other problems in the world are quite literally going to fade away because people will not be acting out of their fear or acting out of their anxiety or acting out of their hate that came from their fear and all of that. If we can educate people where people will no longer be ignorant about things that they are afraid of and that they're acting out of, guys, I mean... Seriously, we can fucking crush it. <laughs> ah, I get very excited. I get very excited and very uh, optimistic about that. And I'm, I'm really grateful that I now do have an optimistic view on that future. But anyway, uh, I think my time's nearly up here. So let me um, let me just see if there's some questions or things. Oh, hey, yeah, no, I, I hear you. Anxiety is like, it's so nutty. Oh, it's so nutty, so nutty. It, 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 you don't even, like, it creeps up on you, too, in such a weird way. It's like such a deceptive little fucker. And it'll weasel in there, and then you're, you, you, you're feeling uncomfortable. You're feeling kind of fearful. You're like, why, why do I not feel 
at peace in this moment right now? Like, why can't I just be cool with whatever this is, wherever I am, wherever you are? And it's that anxiety, just lying to you, just lying to you. Oof, it's gnarly. Thank you. I love this gray hair too. Although I feel like I'm, it's it's uh, uh, perhaps looking more gray <laughs> than it actually is, just because of the lighting here. But uh, right now, but you know, it's also quite quite gray. Mr. Carmichael. I like that. Um, da -da -bam. I'm sending you hugs right back, Jen Stars. How do you balance mental health and social media, girl? Or boy, I don't know. I couldn't really tell from your uh, from your avatar. Uh, it's it's a dance. It's a real dance, you know, because every one of us can get uh, tricked into the little dopamine hits of likes and follows and things and interactions and... Um, you know, it's, it, it all plays upon our psyche and ego that we all have and, and anything in us that's not feeling like it's fully realized or whole or, um, worthy, then, you know, those things kind of like fool us into thinking that, that, you know, we are kind of, but it's not, it's all, <laughs> it's pretty nonsense to be honest. Um, so I don't know. I just, I have to be just cognizant. Just be, just remind yourself, just ask yourself that particularly if you've been on the phone for a while and I, you know, apologies to my friends and family. I do, I do spend a, a pretty good amount of time doing all this stuff for work purposes and for personal purposes. But, um, you just gotta, you gotta, you have to be self-limiting, you know, you gotta, you gotta say, okay, I've been doing this long enough. I'm going to put that down. I actually, you know, I have been thinking about this idea and I kind of, I might've brought it up a long time ago, but so, um, uh, social media Sundays, but, um, hashtag SMS. Uh, but I, I've been thinking maybe what I need to do, what I might do personally. And if anybody else wants to do this with me, I, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be a very interesting experiment. But what if we, what if we only like, what if we only really did social media on Sundays <laughs> or, or one day, one, whatever day of the week it is for you. For me, I feel like that might be the day. And I, you know, I might do posts and things like outgoing stuff, uh, uh, through the week, but I won't, like get dive into the granular interactions and all that stuff. And, and I'll just save all of that for Sunday and just do a big marathon on Sunday and do lives and stuff like that. But I feel like that might be a good way to at least try to wean, you know, like a big wean and be like, okay, I'm not throwing the baby off the bathwater. I think social media can be an incredible, powerful thing as I think this is evidence of, but, uh, but yeah, man, we gotta be present. We gotta be living our lives. I mean, we, it's so crazy. It's like we, we were, you know, like reality television, we are, we're living other people's lives. We're, we're on social media looking at what everybody else is doing with their life instead of just actually being in your, <laughs> in your social media, your media, your social, your life. That's your fucking life. And we're looking at other people's. What are we doing? And also, we feel like we have to post things because it's almost like, well, if I don't post these things, then do they even happen? Like, pics and didn't happen. It's like, fuck that shit. You don't owe anybody, guys, listen to me. You don't know, owe anyone your memories. You don't owe anyone your moments. You don't owe that to anybody. If you want to share that with the world, then rock and roll. But don't feel like if you don't put it up and somehow you won't be relevant enough or that moment won't mean something. That moment means something. Somehow, like literally since the invention of the smartphone and social media, we've completely, obviously, you know, which by the way, is only like 15 years. We've forgotten what life used to be like. And we need to get back to that. I'm not saying let's regress. I'm saying still embrace what we got, but let's be more, you know, more, um, let's be wiser about it. All right. Now I'm late. Uh, love you guys. God bless you. Peace. Pe <laughs> Peace, love, rock and roll. Shaka bra. Um, uh, yeah. Sending you all my love. God bless you guys. And I'll check in with you soon. I hope. Bye. Yeah.